Hey, I'm back out in the woods with Greg again, and we're we're at the spot that uh, I found six silver and four marbles last Sunday. We're gonna see what we can do this Sunday. Give it another try. Yeah. Been swinging about three minutes and at two inches. I got a 1920 wheat scent, so that's a good start. Well, I found a second uh, wheat penny. I think it was a 1924, and Greg called me over and let me listen to this before he digs it. He's got a quarter signal at six inches here, five, four to six inches, and everything from surface on down has been nothing but oldies. So let me show you this one. If I can find it. Right here. Right here. Yep, there it is. 927 at five to six inches, 646, 1347. 2047, 10 and 746. So that's going to be good. Hopefully, it'll be a half dollar for you, brother. Uh, I'll try to no. get you on full dig if you can. Okay. You got it centered up? Yep. All right. I don't know how the batteries are in, in the camera today, but I'm not going to take a chance. I'm going to wait till you stick the shovel on the ground. Don't get too many full digs, but this, this looks like it'd be worth it because we haven't found, I didn't find clad out here all last week. It's been, uh, bottom of the plug. Okay, shake it out. Oh, there it is. Okay. Look at you. The barber, I bet you it's a barber. You lucky dog, you. Man. Friends. All right, I'm gonna clean you. Let's see if it's got friends. No, it's still on there. Oh, I'll clean this up and get back to you. Okay, here it is. 1903, kind of a worn bar recorder. No mint mark. That's an awesome find, Greg. You've been real lucky with those uh, bar recorders and standing liberty so this far. This year, man. Yeah, it's been Keep a good going. season. Yes, it, for you. Yes, definitely it is. <laughs> And I got to congratulate you on first silver of the day, too. <laughs> it has to be a big one. Now it's going to be real hard to catch up. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> I'm about 15 foot away from where I dug uh, not one, but two memorials. And I've got a one inch signal that shows dime. And so let's hope that those two memorials were a fluke and this is silver. Well, thankfully, I got excited. I rubbed it already. It's, I can't tell yet. I uh, have to clean it up a little bit. Wow, this is another early Mercury dime. It's a 1920. Huh. With an estimate mark. I think I dug one of those last week. That's cool, man. My first solar of the day. Now Greg's calling me over. He says he's got a solar uh, signal. He, I'm going to go check his. Okay, Greg had me come over and check his signal and... He's right, it is a strange signal. It's like the um, the coin spill that he dug. It just, it's different one way or the other. It could be a, a, uh, a weedy, it could be a coin spill. It's showing 943 one way. It's six inches, every bit of six. And it's wanting to cut out at, at uh, 1844 the other way. That's kind of like that, uh, uh, five silver coins spill back a few weeks ago where he found the half dollar and barbers and standing liberty. I want to see him dig this. Okay. Not a weedy. Wait. Get me some ice. Nope. There, there, oh, there it it's is. Not a it's a silver. Yep. And look at that, you got a mark. Looks like a mark. You can see that, it's right out of the ground. Mm -hmm. well, well, this is a 1920 as well. But it doesn't have a mint mark on it. <laughs> and that's strange. All right, well, I was out over here digging a 1920S Mercury Dime here at that spot. Greg was over there uh, 
called me over and he got a 1920 plane. I started swinging again. I got about four foot over here and I got a signal. Comes in as quarter at five. Oh, come on, be a quarter. Get off that dime stuff. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna dig this up and hope that it's a quarter. All right, I flipped the plug over and uh, the target's still in the plug. I hope it is a silver quarter. Come on. There it is. I'll turn the macro on. And I can't. Hey, it looks like it might be a barber too. Let me clean this puppy up. Looks like I might have some detail. I got some alcohol and water I'm going to clean it up with. Oh baby, this is a looker. Good looker. 1892, and it's got real good detail. You can see most of the words, if not, or all the letters, in Liberty on the headband. And looking at the back, I don't see a mint mark under the tail feather there. But I... I'm completely satisfied with that, man. Now me and Greg are tied, both Barber Quarters and both 1920 Mercury Dimes. It's a good day today. Awesome. Well, we weren't having too good a luck out here, and I decided to dig a nickel signal of two inches. And I think I got my, well, my, it'd be my second uh, two cent piece nickel. I'm gonna have to clean it up a little bit and show you. Well, darn, it's not a two cent piece, but it is a V nickel. And it's, at least it's old. And that's what we go for is old. It looks like a, I think you can see that down there, it looks like a 1906 V nickel. So that's cool. Well, now we're, <clears throat> we're at a little different location and it started to rain. You got anything there? No, bottle cap. Oh, bottle cap. <laughs> well, guys, it's um, been about half hour since uh, I found the last uh, memorial. I dug like three or four memorials. Uh, okay, maybe it's not a quarter. Maybe it is. Oh, wow. It's a, it's a 1962 Washington. Probably about six seven inches deep all right well so we can find later well this is Craig again um, I rechecked my hole and it looks like that Washington had a brother so here we go there's another um, hmm. 1943 Washington um, I also dug a memorial with it um, that's about it well guys, I'm still working the same hole. It looks like this uh, another quarter, uh, probably a Washington. Uh, I dug two more memorials and a witty out of this hole. Uh, let's see what this is. Yep, 1946. All right. We'll check, check in this hall and see what happens. Hey, dude. Hey. I thought you were supposed to be headed back to the car. What's this? What's this? I just seen your video. <laughs> he just, we were supposed to meet back at the car and he brought, uh, uh, took video of what he found out here and, and we decided to give it a try for a, a while try. longer. Yeah. Um, found a couple of servers down there. Yeah. That's the multiple hole right behind that tree. Over there? Yep, and then I found a Merc here, about half, about half inch down, not, not too far down. <laughs> you're the silver spill king, man. I was on my way back to the car too, so. For a month you've been finding all kind of multiple spills. All right, let's get to it. Yeah. Here we go, Mr. Lucky coin spill here again. <laughs> There's all kinds of can tops oh, and everything man, out here. It's, it's just ludicrous how, how, how many signals are out here yeah and he thought he was digging one he says and he popped the plug open and I see right there don't know what that 
I don't know if that's a walking or what. Probably, I don't think this place is that old. Oh. Yeah, it's got a shiny edge on it. I'll clean it up and get back to you. Yes, it is a it is a half dollar, and he said it was about an inch down. And this one is a 1920s. Is that a 29? And it seems like over here on the left somewhere I've seen a D. Man, Mr. Lucky himself does it again. I don't know how many silvers that is for today, but congratulations. Cool, man. I All was right. like, what the? I'll just put this thing in my pocket here. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I thought I was kicking away another can top, but here's something you don't see every day. A pocket watch. I don't think it's very old. It looks like it's chromed, but that's something you don't find every time you go out. All right, it's really starting to rain now, so I think maybe it's time to pack it up and go home. Well, it's an hour and a half later and it's still raining. And it looks like it's Hi. the end of the hunt for us. I, it looks that way, yeah. But I got to show his amazing, another amazing day. Silver spill Greg here. That is a 1929 D-Mint Mark um, walking half. That was his, uh, his, his last target was he had another one yet. Um, these three were in his coin spill that uh, he took the video of. A 1943 S, uh, 1946 plane, and a 1964 D. Then uh, 1903 plane, if I recorder, a 1920 plane Merc, a 1940 D Mercury Dime. And this was his last dig, his last target, 1958 D. Roosevelt Dime. I think that's a pretty awesome day, if you ask me. Those three coin spill, that's Silver Spill Greg. <laughs> <laughs>